There are times when we, when a president would move quickly to, to dispel an imminent threat to our country. But where I disagree with the president is his theory in Libya was that there was an imminent threat to Benghazi. That's not what an imminent threat is. It's an imminent threat to our country. And so what I would say is that the Shiites who are ripping their uniforms off and running need to stand up and fight. And could we assist them in some way? I'm not ruling that out. But I would first wait to see, are the Shiites going to fight for their country or not? Let me uh, uh, play you something that one of your Republican colleagues said, Senator Marco Rubio. He was talking about why this is important, uh, and he does believe that national security is at stake. The reason why we care is because we cannot allow a safe haven to develop there that can be used to carry out attacks that can kill Americans, including here in our homeland. So do you believe that the ISIS is a national security threat to the United States? Well, do you know where the safe haven is? The safe haven's in Syria. So those who have been, let me, let me finish. Because the thing is, is that they would not be empowered in, in Iraq if we were not providing safe haven in Syria by arming their allies. So should we so, go to Syria? I mean, the thing is, we kind of no, are where we are. No, so well, we are where we are because we, we are where we are because we armed the Syrian rebels. We have been fighting alongside Al Qaeda, fighting alongside ISIS. ISIS is now emboldened and in two countries. But here's the anomaly. We're with ISIS in Syria. We're on the same side of the war. So those who want to get involved to stop ISIS in Iraq are allied with ISIS in Syria. That is the, the real contradiction to this whole policy. Right, and many of your Republican colleagues would argue that what we should have done in Syria was uh, get rid of Assad, and that would have stopped ISIS in his tracks. But, but, but no, but we, we've done this. Look at Libya. We went into Libya, and we got rid of that terrible Qaddafi. Now it's a jihad in wonderland over there. There's jihadists everywhere. If we were to get rid of Assad, it would be a jihadist wonderland in Syria. It's now a jihadist wonderland in Iraq, right. precisely because we got over-involved, not because we had too little involvement, but too much involvement. And here we are. Can a uh, terrorist haven in Iraq, does a terrorist haven in Iraq, which it may be soon, threaten the national security of the U.S.? It yes could, or no? It, no, well, it could at some point. I would say right now, if you are a member of ISIS, you're looking at the Shiites right in front of you in the battles you're fighting. I don't believe that ISIS is right now in the middle of a battle saying, hmm, I think we're going to send intercontinental ballistic missiles to America. So could they be a threat? Yes. But what I would say Shouldn't is... Shouldn't we stop them now? Well, we should have not armed them. If we wouldn't have armed them in Syria, maybe they the wouldn't past, be in Iraq. Right? Well, so the now. past the past is six months ago. The right. past the past is still the current as well. It is the present. We are still arming the radical Islamic rebels in Syria. So the homeland, they're going back and forth across the border. They go back into Syria, and that is a homeland that we well, are helping to do? defend. How do you for them. stop that? Well, let, let's not be involved in the Syrian civil war, and let's not be involved in the Iraq civil war. I so think that out altogether. Well, no. What I would say, places. no. What I would say is that Maliki is an ally. Although, here's the thing is, they think they're going to create stability by pushing Maliki out in the middle of a war. So we push him out, and then we have another power vacuum, and nobody leading the country at all. What I would say is, and my prediction is, that Maliki will stand up, and the Shiites will stand up, that ISIS will not be able to take Baghdad, and there will be a civil war over there, but there will be a civil war with uh, feckless people on one side that aren't necessarily great allies of ours, who are allies of Iran, and on the other side, allies of al-Qaeda. You have to ask yourself, are you willing to send your son? Am I willing to send my son to retake back a city, Mosul, that they weren't willing to defend themselves? I'm not willing to send my son into that mess. Let me move you to a different.